is very important in case of providing you children in case of providing you with luck in case of providing we you you with good and happy married life so these are the signification for jupiter's that um, it makes it such a beneficial planet and um, jupiter is also a um, husband in case of a female nativity along with the sun in vedic astrology jupiter is the natural karka of husband in a female nativity likewise venus is a natural karka of wife in a male nativity that's why venus and jupiter are seen important in terms of matching a horoscope traditionally known as the great fortune jupiter guides you to high ideals a sense of purpose and what will bring you happiness jupiter determines whether your life journey will be smooth or rocky whether you will be stingy or generous and your overall level of optimism jupiter's gift to guide you to your highest fulfillment and happiness as the planet of expansion some of its pathways are through learning travel challenges and philosophy jupiter in your chart will drop clues about where and how you will take the leaps of faith it will show you the areas in your life by the house position and likely what method you will take by sign by its sign position and jupiter is also said to influence all the good and the noble things of our life and lead us towards a higher purpose like what i have explained earlier now what are the main important properties of jupiter firstly it is a fiery sign because it rules the sagittarius and secondly it rules meena a watery sign so jupiter is compatible with the fire sign and the water sign but whether you are working with the ideas that is the air sign or the tangible structures that is the earth sign or the emotional and imaginative knowing that is the water sign or the instinctive awareness that is the fire sign jupiter will take you to take all the risk and by doing so you will have a faith of life that is unfolding the sign and house position shows where and how those signs of destiny will appear in your life and also um jupiter is uh, a good significator for all the things that you get in your life without effort like um, you get um, good results in your school in your exams without studying that may be due to jupiter now jupiter is also um, in uh, in jupiter is uh, also it can be judged from the fact that uh, his aspect on any malefic planet reduces his bad effect due to the effect to sufficient degree he has the power to balance the ill effects of malefic planet jupiter is ruled by the day thursday the direction north east color yellow its nature is knowledge and wisdom and the constellation that is the nakshatras that is ruled by jupiter is punarvasu vishakha purva bhadrapada now what is the importance of these nakshatras or these uh, constellations these constellations if suppose rahu 
is in the 10th house of your horoscope and Rahu is situated in Punarvashu. So Rahu is a natural malefic planet and since it is situated in the 10th house, so it's one more dimension and that dimension is you have to see that your planets whether they are situated in a benefic planets nakshatras or a malefic planet nakshatras whether they are situated in their own nakshatras or whether they are situated in the nakshatras of their friends so if a planet is situated in a natural or functional benefic planet stars or nakshatras then their ability to produce good results to the native will become more prominent so that is the fourth dimension that you have to look the horoscope from that is like um, from the perspective of the nakshatras or the constellation lordship and that is like uh, putting a like uh, uh, suppose you have uh, to judge a picture you have you have your picture and you is watching your picture through your eyes and then you put a um, lens or if you put a glass so the glass is between you your eyes and your picture so that is one more adding one more filter to what i am seeing and suppose if you put one more glass so there are two glass and then your eyes and then your picture so that is adding more filter to what i will finally see so that is the nakshatras it is the fourth dimension or the fourth filter that you have to judge to get the overall predictions for the native so if Jup if jupiter is uh, present in the nakshatras of any planet then by just um, it is a the most benefic planet it will give good results and uh, jupiter uh, when it becomes the lord of the six then what will happen or if it is uh, weak in the uh, if it is debilitated in the sixth house or if it is the lord of the sixth house so in any way if it is related to the sixth house and if it is not strong then it will give diseases related to the blood and liver gallstone may form they may be found of food and overeat result is is their op obesity and accompanied problems diabetes is surely connected with jupiter he grows growth of cancer he makes the blood vessel grow thick and cause circulatory problem i as i have already uh, mentioned you that uh, astrology and astrologers comes under jupiter's preview and he also rules the uh, gemstone yellow sapphire topaz yellow Jarkon. So, if you don't, uh, if you are not able to afford um, the precious um, yellow sapphire, you can take the alternative topaz. But always try to um, wear yellow sapphire because it is most effective. But obviously, you have to take care that uh, your gemstone is not a fake one. You have to buy it through a good resource and you can you have to test it also now jupiter is um, in its own sign that is in sagittarius and pisces or in the first house will make the native a good speaker well versed in shastras he will have full knowledge of the three vedas that is vedas is it is uh, not just uh, uh, it is Vedas are actually they are the ancient scriptures of um, 
Hindu religions and these scriptures are as much <laughs> scientific that now people are deriving their uh, scientific conclusions from these Vedas. The unsolved miseries of quantum physics is now seen through the Vedas. So um, these Vedas, so here Vedas, I don't mean that it is particularly, I am talking about uh, um, Vedas like uh, uh, it is a ancient scripture or the religious scripture of Hindu.